Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Today we're gonna cheat engine guild tree. First, I'm gonna show you why. It's cause uh, we're using a trainer, Wiimod, which is commercially widely available. And unfortunately, it doesn't really work. It doesn't seem like they update it, but they don't seem to test what they make or even see if it works. Um, do they have, they have that with many mods, with many trainers, I mean. Also with Stellaris, you find the same problem. So let's get to it. I'll show you what I mean. We'll start a new game, let's pick the first map. Uh, just a simple settings. Uh, we'll make Andrew Morris. Uh, put it practically anything, it really doesn't matter. We'll make him a grave digger, you know. Yeah, there we go. Meanwhile, we're going to start Wiimot here. I already have it installed. You don't have to. You can. It's, it's purely optional. When you're in Wiimot, you can find your games installed by typing them in there. You got Guild Tree, for example. You press, you press play. Uh, it says that... Welcome to the Guild Tree. One moment. Yeah. It says here that uh, it's not suitable for this version. That's because they just patched it. Like today. So, it is compatible and you'll see it right away. So we're gonna press yes anyway and it's gonna run. And say playing, because it is compatible. You can check their history, they update it every so now and then. None of these work correctly, correspondingly with the game. I'm gonna show you why. So, here you have unlimited influence, attribute points and money. Okay. I'm gonna run through it. Put this here, and I'm gonna resume the game. So you have your character, and how you rank up. You click here, and here you have all the rankings. Oh, I can buy this. I can buy this one, and I don't have enough money anymore. All right, not a problem. It says here, with numpad one, numpad three, I can change my influence and money. So first we'll do money. We we'll press numpad three. It activates takes a second and you have infinite money or so they say do some more titles all right now we need influence we'll turn the other one on influence is on all right now we'll buy as many titles as we can all right baron count marquis duke and an archduke we can't get why is that because it's just slightly more money than this trainer offers you. What does that mean? It means that they haven't played the game to the full extent. They haven't gotten this rank. They haven't cared to go to it. You know, I'm, overall, I'm, uh, I'm just disappointed when I get a software like that. And they don't really care to just change some values. Whatever. So how can we get it? Good question. With Cheat Engine. Again... I don't get promoted by any of these softwares, I just really liked them. <laughs> what we would do, we click here and we gotta start it up, we go to guild tree, open that, select uh, I think it's stuck. Alright, if it crashes, you just click it many times and it will close, and you start it up again. <laughs> Happens sometimes. Alright, so we go to the game, press guild tree, and we select 4 byte value, it's selected on default, so it's fine. And then we look for these amounts, which is not really hard. It's 9999999. Put it in scan, it will pause. Alright, and we have these 12 values. Now what we could do... So you can turn the mod off. Alright. Now we go in the game. How do we change the money value? Uh, obvious way. So we'll build another building, for example, real fast. Or in other words, we'll spend the money on building that building. And we're not going to wait for that building at all. 
the money value already changed and that's what we wanted. And we can see here, this one exactly matches it. We could grab this one by double clicking it, or if you really want to, if it doesn't disappear, you could just type in that value, put in next scan, and it would find it. But you already have it here, so. Now that will be the money value. So if I double click on description, I could put money value in there. You don't have to do that, I'm just doing it to clear things up. If we double click value or enter, then this will open. You can change the value of the money to what we want to change it into. Here's some advice. If you put it higher than 9, 10, 12 digits, it will go negative. <laughs> and it will go negative in a way that it changes the address. So what am I saying? It will put the game in a soft lock. You will indefinitely lose. Um, don't put billions in your in your in that value. It will just mess your game up. Now we know that, we'll put in uh, 10 million. Alright, so that worked nicely. Now we have some more reputation. We're also going to get the reputation value. So get this away, press new scan, click here, and we'll go for the reputation. Scan for that. Now here's something to notice, right? What we could do is we could boast here, yeah. we'd gain reputation really quick and it would change the value so we can find it. But there's another way of doing it. What we could also do is grab all these values, yeah? Now these are the values we just grabbed, because that one says money. Let's slow this down. That one says money. Now if we grab all these values, what do we notice? We notice that these two are almost the same. Only the last two characters are different. So what do we do? We got all these values, the other ones, we delete them, and we just use that one. If you don't know how to do any of that, you just, you just boast, you finish boasting, you get reputation points, and now it's a changed value. You see it changed there, you can scan it, and you get the same one, this one, is this, you could double click that and you got that. We'll call this reputation. All right. I don't know if we can turn this into a negative value. I don't want to find out. So we're just going to change it to 1 million. All right, now that all worked. Go back to the skill tree and now we can unlock the Archduke with the two plus two henchman limits and plus two business limit. All right then. So that's how you get uh, max gold and influence and become an archduke in guild tree. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.